Hello everyone. Um, welcome again to my channel. Um, this one we're actually going to be doing is for the month of November for this month, um, November 2020. Now if you are a Scorpio, um, I do have a video that is specifically just for you if your birthday um, is, you know, if you're a Scorpio birthday. Um, so go back to um, my other video there and watch that one because that one is specifically for you that is also a free pick a card reading as well so um, we'll go ahead and start and um, this one again I have four card piles for you to choose from my first pile right here um, is going to be number one and these are our romance love um, oracle deck I'm also going to be using the traditional tarot with this one. Now with this one, I have already pulled a few cards, um, but with the love and romance, I have not. Um, so that's one, if you wanna choose number one. If you decide to choose number two, this is going to be another um, tarot deck. This is a bigger uh, deck, beautiful um, pictures on it. You've probably seen these before, the ones that I use. And, um, this one is a law of attraction card so this is going to be um, for number two if you choose that if you choose number three number three is over here um, the cards that are going to be used for that um, those are actually going to be new cards that i got um, which is called the cather tarot it's the secret wisdom um, of the perfect perfecti perfecti i don't know how you pronounce that or say that um, so, and then we also um, are going to be using, there's two oracle cards that I did pull from the Love and Romance um, oracle, and then there is actually going to be one card that is in there, uh, which is going to be from uh, Eyes of the Soul oracle as well. And then the fourth pile, which is right here, um, which you see the eye, that's actually a secret pile. So. Um, I don't have the cards to show you um, and I'm not going to show you um, that's a secret so if you want to go ahead and go for pot, you know number four and you're, fe you're feeling led towards that one then choose that one it could be multiple ones as well um, but as I say in our video I can just breathe take a deep breath go with a pile that resonates deeply with you um, the one that you are drawn to and um, again, this is a general reading for the month of November. If you are wanting a more personalized reading that's more specific and geared directly towards you, um, you know, go ahead. My information is there um, in the about uh, information with my email. Um, and let's see here. I think we're, yeah. So the timestamps are gonna be listed below for you as well. So that if you just wanna skip ahead, um, to your specific reading, you can do that as well. So what I'm going to do is gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move these other piles out of the way. Of course, as I remember <laughs> that where my, that's number two, we're gonna move number two out of the way. This is number three. Move three out of the way. And then four. Isn't that pretty? I like that. <laughs> okay, great. So we're gonna go ahead and start our reading. I'm gonna go ahead and move these over um, for you so that you can see. Now I haven't pulled a love oracle card or romance card yet, um, but these I have um, pulled already for you. So let's see what we have here. I'm just gonna kind of move this here so that you can see what is going on here. Okay, so let's see what we have as far as our tarot cards are concerned. Okay, so um, we have the Ace of Wands, as you can see here, and then I have the Ten of Swords as well. And then these are gonna be kind of put on the side here, um, but we have the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. Okay. So with the Knight of Cups, as we can see here, we can see that beautiful card here. 
So the Knight of Cups, basically, uh, Cups energy has to do with our emotions. Um, this has to do with something that from the heart that we are that we've been waiting for. So now, what I'm looking at here with the Ace of Wands, with the Wands energy, Wands is about creativity. Wands is about creation, about creating. So. I'm getting, a, this is a really good reading, um, looks like something that you've been working on, um, you know, and, and it looks like you've been working on something and maybe they're trying to come up with a new solution, um, so, you know, a creative project, but you've actually kind of gotten stuck. This Ten of Swords energy, this is very stuck energy. You know, you've had all these ideas and everything as far as what you've wanted to do and but you have you you know felt very stuck um, with that so what this is saying is it gets with this knight of cups it's almost like you had this idea that came to you you started it and you're like okay I've got this great and then it just it was like stuck energy is what happened um, and then we have the knight of wands so it basically with this knight of wands is it's basically stating that something is going to come to you. Um, you can see that, and kind of help with removing these swords so that you're not stuck. So you don't feel stuck with um, what you're trying to do. So we're going to go ahead and I am going to shuffle some of these cards for you, right in the here and the now. <laughs> Let's see what we get. It's interesting. Some, again, sometimes I shuffle and then I feel as though there's a card that needs to come out. Sometimes I'll just wait or I will just feel for what needs to come out. So um, as you can see, this beautiful card here, I'll go ahead and show that to you. So what this basically, um, it says to confront your fears and assert yourself, show you have enough passion and courage to take action to, and then there's like a blank spot, which is, so you would need to fill this out as far as, and, and again, this is, this is confirming that, you know, go ahead and take the action, even, you know, um, you know, it's it's telling you to confront those fears, to confront, you know, what's boggling you down. And it could be just you taking one thing at a time in order to move forward. Um, now, this also speaks to love. It says you'll quickly get the love you want. The time is near. Be confident. Be the first to find your way. Don't question, dally, or delay cut right to the matters of the heart and maybe your and make your point like Cupid's dart. So this is this is definitely talking about confronting your fears. Confronting what basically is holding you back from moving forward. Um either way what I am seeing is is someone is coming in to offer like some guidance to some help. Um, but you have to do the like, I mean, you, you've got to take an, you, you got to initiate is what you need to do in order to move forward, um, through this, through this process. Um, and you know, this could be, um, with taking a chance on love and this can be with taking a chance on a career, um, that you've been, you know, thinking about, um, but that you, you're definitely going to know what this is about. Um, with this pile because again it's been really heavy energy um, so um, like I said this is just a, a general reading if you want a more specific reading geared towards you um, go ahead and you know just email me let me know and then we can give you a tailored reading specifically for you so that's gonna be all for my pile number one reading and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to number two and here we go. And so number two, this one I haven't shuffled. I'm going to keep the stone right here um, as well so you can see that. And with the 
this one. You're using this beautiful deck of cards that I just love to use. Now I have already shuffled these. So as you can see here, I'm gonna put these up here as well. up here for you pile number two and let's see what we have in store for you um, so with the first one we have the nine of Pentacles okay this is earth energy this has to do with the things um, in our life that we want this is earth energy here um, the second card is the chariot Beautiful card there. If we could stand, I need to get a stand so I can stand these beautiful cards up. I think actually, oh yes, that, that'll work actually beautifully. Um, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess. And then we have the Five of Cups. Okay, so what does this reading entail? Now the other um, cards that we have here is our Law of Attraction cards as well. So I'm actually going to get a clarifier with this deck. to get a little bit more specific information on your reading. And I'm gonna pull one more card. Actually, one already came out. There's two, okay. Sometimes I wait for them, sometimes I feel them. That's the way it is. <laughs> okay, so what we have here if you can see that and I'll go ahead and move that up there so you can see the cards okay oh yes beautifully so with this um, nine of Pentacles um, which actually I'm getting something that came in for the month of September so you have something that came in um, uh, for you uh, which was just recent and um, now the queen, and you felt very, there was almost like this, this very grateful energy of, you know, you have the queen of pentacles that came in. Um, she actually is even offering something else to you as well. So that there's been, there's been something that's come in to your life is what I'm showing here. Um, you stood in your power. Um, and have you know received as far as like what's what's come in so we've got the star card here which is beautiful I mean this is a beautiful read and um, now with the chariot uh, coming in here this is kind of you know as far as like I'm seeing almost like a balance this is when they're making things happen the chariot is coming in so this is very fast moving energy um, that, that came in um, in your life now what I'm seeing here is the five of cups so with the five of cups it's it's um you know what I am with this one is almost as if there's a jealousy is a jealousy in the background and enviness because of what you received um, in your life um, again if these this doesn't resonate with you you know go to another pile that that sort of thing um, but with this one, I'm, I'm feeling that, you know, there is almost, there was almost a jealousy as far as kind of like, why is this person getting, getting this? Um, so and there's two readings that are going to go on with this, um, with this, uh, card here as well. Um, we have like the shadow aspect. 
correct. And I don't know if you can see that, but he's kind of like looking over his shoulder and um, it's kind of like dark here as well, but it's actually, uh, I'm gonna see if I can pull this up just even a little bit closer here, but it's it's kind of like the dark side of himself, it's kind of lingering behind him. So there might be some contemplation here as far as like maybe others wanting to come in to um, maybe you're feeling like, are they trying to take advantage of me? Um, maybe you've given a little bit too much, being generous, and now because you've given and given and given, um, it's kind of, you know, in some way has hurt you um, because you, ha you haven't been able to say no and you've given and given and given, that sort of thing. Um, the other way that I'm, I'm reading this is, you know, it could be family, family coming in and saying, Hey, I need help. Um, I see that you have this and that, you know, um, especially right now with what's been going on, a pandemic and stuff like that. Um, and so you kind of have this, like, should I, should I help? Should I not help? You know, as far as what's, maybe I've been giving too much. Have you been giving, you know, um, too little? Um, but there's also something that I'm seeing as far as like in the background here uh, with that. And like I said, it, it can go it can go a couple of ways uh, with that because the five of cups, it's almost as, as it, this has to do with like family, people kind of in the background. Um, I'm seeing kind of like saying, hey, can I have some of this? Can I have some of your wealth? Can I have some of of what you've been given. Um, can I, like I said, can I stay at your house? Can I do this and that? So um, this has been kind of, you know, and this is just a confirmation from the spirit realm um, that they understand um, that this is, this is something that you're, you're trying to figure out what to do. Um, so I am going to pull as far as one more card for you. Um, on here and okay so this card yes actually confirms that as well um, you're trying to just kind of delegate you're trying you're trying to delegate you know a situation so what guys are telling you to do what they're telling me to do is is do it as far as like you know what's going to be in the best interest if, if you take the two scenarios that you have, you know, take your scenarios that you have and say, okay, if this happens at the end, how is, you know, how, how is, how is this going to make me feel? How is it, you know, going to be at the end? Am I really going to truly be happy with myself with, you know, what the outcome was, or am I going to be kicking myself again, um, for doing this? So this is something where you're going to have to make a decision and you're going to have to stand up as far as for um, what's going to be your, really the overall best interest. Um, you know, sometimes we can give, 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 and then it, you know, family just kind of expects us to give kind of thing. And that's, you know, we, we don't need to do that, um, especially if it's causing a burden you know, in your life. And then you start, you're not thinking about yourself first. Um, after a while, you know, you start like putting others ahead of you like all the time. And then all of a sudden you're not taking care of yourself and your own needs are been, are falling short. Um, you know, the other thing, what I was saying is that maybe there is an enviness between families like, oh, he has so much, he has, you know, kind of thing like this, you know, and I'm also seeing this other side of it, it's like you've worked hard for what you have, you work very hard, um, so do not be ashamed of what you have. Um, yes, is there a part of us that should, part of us should be giving in some way, you know, but there's also moderation um, in life and don't feel bad um, is what they're saying. This, this is really what this is saying is don't feel bad for those things that have come into your life um, and stuff like that, um, you know, but listen to your, listen to your heart, make sure it's balanced uh, correctly. Um, and so this is your reading. So this one was a little bit longer. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on then to number three. So I'm gonna move these cards out of the way. So they don't get confused with number three. There we go. Okay.
So now with number three, now this was a new uh, deck that I actually just um, obtained and um, I, had to, I had to read the uh, description uh, to find out. I'm gonna put this down up here and move that one. So we're gonna we're gonna look at it and see what this says here. And I think actually okay. So wait, I'm gonna do this. And like I said, we can we can put these up like this. Hopefully you can see that. It'll actually be better just like that. And then I'll show you what we have here. Okay, so um, what we have here is the Two of Swords that's coming up here. Now, the Two of Swords has to do with as far as like a decision. Um, this has to do with, with something that you're trying to decide what to do. Okay, and it's kind of, it's weighing heavy on you because you don't know which direction to take with this one, with the Two of Swords. Um, then we have the three of shields that's coming up. Now this this deck that I was I was telling you about um, this one right here is the uh, the cather the cather tarot. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that <laughs> pronouncing that correctly. So, but this has to do with um, seeing as far as like how this is going to affect others um and actually let me read from the book because the way that it's stated it here i like the way that um the three yeah the three of shields so the three of shields embodies movement into a new dimension of activity a voyage or discovery into fresh waters um Look at those who will support you, who share your vision, and who will cooperate with you at every level, okay? So this is, yeah, so this is about looking looking who's around you, who's going to basically kind of help, you know, you, um, you know, with, with that decision and look at that decision. Okay, well, if I go this way, what is it gonna look like? And if I go this other way, what is that gonna look like? And again, maybe even collaborating and see the people that are involved with that decision. Um, this can definitely be, I'm saying this with love, um, because at the end of the day, what we have here is the Seven of Shields. The Seven of Shields card comes into play to tell us that um, we actually, um, you know, the decision that we make, it's, it's going to be something that's going to, it's going to help us. It's going to be something that we want. And, um, now the five, the five of wisdom is coming up here. And this is, this basically has to do, um, with the fact that they know you've had a lot of turmoil inside about this. Um, because you you really have been trying to figure out which direction to go, and th this is this has been really troublesome for you. So let's look at these other cards to see as far as kind of what this says. So we've got the healer card that's coming up here. You can see that beautiful card here with the angel, and then the other card that we have here, which is the Egyptian goddess we have a, this is the jeweler so um you have the chance to realize your hopes and wishes and to enjoy life as long as you this is one of those fill in the blank um so we have an angel we have an egyptian um priestess here and now we also for this card it's weave your own destiny so what I'm getting right here is that you need to follow your heart on this and what's basically going to make you the happiest. Um, and sometimes it is a matter of sitting down and seeing, you know, writing, you know, writing down maybe even that. What is going to be the best de decision on this? This this has really been weighing heavy on you. And they, like I said, they are acknowledging that. 
Um, but there'll, there'll come this point where you'll be, you know, kind of sitting pretty in, in your house and just like, you know what, I'm glad I made the right decision. I'm glad I made it. Um, and I can just kind of sit now and I can rest and I can rest assured that I did make the right decision. So, um, this, uh, this basically talks about what makes you happy. You know, what it really, what is really in your heart and what can you per see, perceive with the first situation and again, the second situation. Um, so, um, you know, you might need to seek out the counsel of others to help you out with this dec decision uh, that you're trying to make. But ultimately, what I'm hearing is that you know within yourself, as far as once you kind of stop and just sit down for a little bit and, and think about, you know, what's going to probably be now, you may, you may have to um, just say no at, at, you know, with someone maybe in coming in, it could be a romance or something like that, because you know that maybe something is better on the other side. And the only reason that you're holding on to that one person is maybe out of loneliness, um, is because you don't think anything better is going to come afterwards, but yet you're really not happy with what you currently have. So this is where you would need to make the decision to say, you know what, I'm just going to trust that I'm going to let go of what I have right now because it's not really what's making me happy. It's an, it, I, I can, it just doesn't feel right. Now, if that's what it is, then yes, let that go so that something else that's better can come in for you. Um, you are the creation. So, and once you do, and seeking the counsel, you know, like I said, of, of others, but you, ultimately, this is really about you. And once you do that, you know, you'll be able to have peace um, about your decision. So this is for my pile number three. I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, for a more detailed reading, um, just get with me. And we're going to move on to number four for this. Now four is actually on this one right here, which is the secret. And so I'm actually not pulling the cards from here. I'm actually not telling you yet until I actually get the cards here. Um, but I know which ones I'm gonna pull for you. So um, the one that we're gonna pull for number four is gonna be from this. This is the Ascended Masters. So I'm gonna shuffle these for you. And we're gonna see as far as what we get. For number four. Okay, that one wants to come out. That's gonna be, and I might have to read on this one to see what this one is. Ah, so, and this is great. I, I mean, I actually have my Egyptian <laughs> statues here and whatnot as well. So, um, last but not least is, uh, this card here, which is about balancing career and home life. So this is a clear indication in card saying that you need to balance your life. And you go, you know, um, and so sometimes what I do with stuff like this is to maybe even write down a list and say, okay, what are the most important things that I kind of really just want to get out of the way and that I want to do in order for my life to feel a little you know, um, a bit more, um, in tune and so that I'm not, you're not stressed as far as, you know, with what's going on in your life. So that's there as well. Um, the next card that I want to pull for you is going to be the, um, this beautiful deck here, as you can see, I, I love this deck here. So we're going to pull also another card from here. Actually, I forgot that as well. And then I am also going to pull, this one is going to have multiple ones that we're gonna be pulling from. I am gonna pull here from the traditional tarot deck as well. That one wants to come out. And then the fourth card that I'm gonna pull for you which is going to be the universe has your back. 
You see that in that beautiful. So, um, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to shuffle this, and then we'll go ahead and see as far as what all your cards have to say. There's actually two for you. Okay, so I'm gonna put these kind of on the side here and I'm gonna put this up because we already know what that one is about. And so with this one, this one is, um, it says to seek a wise elder. We have the eight of wands that's coming up. Now, let's see what else we have here. Okay, so Eight of Wands. So, um, this is actually has to do with something that's that's moving in very very quickly um, for you, and so. This is saying that you are going to have to, you know, maybe even seek out advice for this one because it's going to be like kind of like all of a sudden there's going to be uh, lots of information kind of coming your way. Um, uh, there is going to be um, for this one. Actually, let's read these two because this actually might help kind of clarify as kind of what's going on here. But um, my fearless freedom lights up the world. You see that beautiful card. And then your other card that we have here is it's this beautiful card here. You see the moon, the moon on there, um, which actually this has to do with the fall. So if you see the, so would have to be, you know, this definitely has to, to be uh, correlating with this month for the month of November and the full moon that we just have. Um, and then, so it says, my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. Okay, so um, actually, clearly, what I'm what I'm kind of seeing here with with all of this kind of coming into into balance here um, with your reading is that there has, you know, definitely been. Um, some strife and stuff that has, has come into your life um and so th there's been a lot in it, this it, it needs you know it has to do with this balance this balancing of what's going on here you um th th there's a lot of there's a lot of activity it's it's been very very busy very 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 busy almost like, and it's like this you know if you look at these wands here just you're just flying through the air and just like okay it's like hold on wait 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 Life has been maybe chaotic. That would be the best word to describe it. Chaotic, um, out of sorts. You're just like, okay, wait, hold on. Um, so, you know, what this is saying is for you to take charge right here. My fearless free, uh, freedom lights up the world. To take charge, you know, you may have to tell people to say, no, look, it's I, I can't do this right now. I need to stop. Um, because you you've been letting energies come in, you've been pe too many people coming in, um, too many things going on in your life, and it's created havoc, is what I'm getting. Um, and so, and so, yeah, there's probably been some kind of you know conflict and stuff like within yourself, is what I'm seeing conflict within yourself. So this is the time right now for stillness. This is the time to just say no. To people and things coming in and just like okay you need some silence for a while so that you can take care of the things in your life you need to take care of for you it is okay to say no you need to say no I'm getting a very clear message now with all this um, and why this is coming up um, yes and it's almost like this fearless my fearless freedom lights up the world yes everyone loves your energy and you're running around and you're doing this you're doing that um and it's a beautiful thing and it's a gift and it's a beautiful gift but at this time there's there's a time you know for silence as well 
and just slowing down. Um, and this is also asking for help. You know, if you have someone in, let's say, you know, to help clean your house, um, maybe uh, if, you know, um, the children to help out with the children, you know, I just, if it's a day that you need out of the week to say, you know, I, I need for someone to come in and kind of help me with the kids, um, whatnot, however you arrange that. But this is what I'm saying because you need to get your life in order and, and it's, it's just been too chaotic. So um, very clear message here for you for the month of November. So um, that is your reading. So um, I hope this resonated with you. Um, again, if this one didn't, another one resonated with you, you know, definitely then go to that, to that pile. But um, again, thank you so much for joining and uh, listening. And every month I'm going to be, you know, doing um, a reading for the month. And then I also will be doing a reading for the birthday um, as well. So for like Scorpio, Leo, Aries, all that uh, throughout the year as well. All right, thanks and have a great week.